Hey guys, what is up? My name is Landon and welcome to the Jersey Zone. So today, as you guys can tell, I do have another unboxing for you guys. There's two jerseys in this bag here and I kind of already regret getting one. Kind of not really. I'll explain more when I actually unbag the jersey or show you guys the jersey, I should say. But both of these jerseys are the same team and I got them for really cheap as well. I think I paid under $100 Canadian for both of these jerseys here, so I was pretty excited about it. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. Let's actually unbag the jerseys here. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek at both of the jerseys. So you might be able to tell what both of them are already. Maybe if you can kind of guess the team, you probably can guess what both of them are. So I'm going to show you guys the first one here. And this is the one that I kind of regret getting. So as you guys can see, it is the Toronto Maple Leafs Reverse Retro. Now, if you guys have watched the channel before or you guys have seen the video I already have this jersey. It is in my collection already. It's the exact same size as well. It is in the size 46, but I did get it for a particular reason. Well, two reasons in particular. The first reason I got is because it does have Freddie Anderson on the back. Now, to be honest, I'm a little upset that it is factory customization, but I knew before opening the bag that it was going to be factory customization because I did see a lot of other people unbox this jersey before me. And that's because of the fact that, well, it was only $50 Canadian. Like it was a cheap, cheap jersey. And that is the reason I bought it. I do really like Freddie Anderson a lot. I wanted Anderson on the back. I really liked Freddie as a Leaf, especially in his first two seasons. He absolutely carried the Maple Leafs. Although his past few seasons, he hasn't really played as well. So it was a little unfortunate. He never really played that great in this jersey here, but I don't really mind that. But I did get this one from real sports i believe that's what they're called yeah it was from real sports who i believe is like the official maple leaf shop so i was kind of hoping that maybe it wouldn't be factory customization but it was kind of a long shot i really wasn't expecting for it to be like pro stitched or anything like that but it was a slight hope so i'm probably going to sell the one that i already have and just keep this one i don't have any other freddie anderson jerseys in my collection so i'm glad that i now have this one because at least i just have one of freddie anderson he was one of the least players that i did actually want on the back of the jersey now like i said he didn't really play that great in this jersey here but that's okay that doesn't really bother me at all I just wanted a jersey with his name on the back so I'm kind of okay with it but yeah like I said I was kind of stupid in getting it because I already had this jersey and I don't absolutely love this jersey either I think it's just fine it's a decent looking jersey it's definitely grown on me I actually don't mind the gray now I actually kind of like the gray to be honest with you guys that was one thing I think I didn't like but uh as I've kind of looked at this jersey in person I kind of like the gray I'm still not a huge fan of that big stripe at the bottom I think it's a little bit too big and I also really don't mind this logo I know a lot of people don't like it but I think it's just okay it's not the worst Leafs logo out there but it's definitely not the best although I do need to kind of iron down this logo here because it was a little bit bent in the shipping but that's okay that shouldn't be too difficult so yeah I'll be selling that other one and uh, like I said I basically just bought this one so I could have the Freddie Anderson jersey that's really the reason I kind of bought it and also like I said it was $50 so it was pretty cheap okay but let's move on to the next jersey here and this jersey I actually really like a lot and I've been wanting this jersey for a very long time I've really only been able to find it in the darker version of this jersey I've never been able to find this jersey in particular and like I said I've wanted this one basically since it came out but I wasn't gonna buy it right away because I don't like spending $200 on a jersey, but really after it first came out, I don't think I ever saw it in the lighter version here. I think I only saw it in the darker version. So let's show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's show you guys the jersey. So it is the Toronto Maple Leafs 2020 All-Star jersey, and I actually really like this jersey a lot. It is a little bit plain for sure, like the bottom of the jersey is a little bit plain, but I really just like that logo. I like the blue on the logo so, so much. And it's one of the reasons why I'm not the biggest fan of that gray version. And I much prefer this one here. If the gray one had this blue logo, I think I would prefer the gray one. But just the blue logo just makes me like this one so much more. And I do also really like the sparkling. Let's see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So as you guys can see, I really do like the silver part of this jersey because of the sparkle. But yeah, I just think it's a neat little touch for sure. It definitely makes the jersey a lot better. If it was just silver striping with no sparkle to it at all, I think it would be pretty Pretty lame but the sparkle makes it a little bit better it does have the patch on it as well which is nice and I do also like the fact that it has the St. Louis arch in the back of the collar there I like that Adidas does that kind of stuff that puts stuff in the back of the collar I just think it's kind of neat and this one is a blank jersey as you guys can tell I'm not quite sure who I would get on it I'm pretty sure it was just Matthews Marner and Anderson that went to the 2020 all-star game I think that's who went as a leaf so I'm not quite sure who I would get because I think I want Matthews on the darker version. So I guess it would be between Marners and Anderson. And I mean, I already got Anderson on that jersey there. So maybe I'll get him on this one as well. I don't think that would be a big deal for me. I wouldn't mind getting two jerseys of Anderson, but I think this one is kind of one that I would want to get customized just because of how kind of blank it is. I think with a name and number, it would definitely make it look a little bit nicer, a little bit more full and everything like that. So 
yeah, I'm not really too sure. Maybe I just won't get it customized. That's definitely a possibility too. But yeah, anyways, I'm glad that I got both jerseys. Like I said, they were pretty cheap anyways. But anyways, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel. I do have two more jerseys on the way, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I'm actually really excited about both of them. I cannot wait. I'm really happy to have them in my collection. Also, make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at the Jersey Zone YT on Instagram and at the Jersey Zone on Twitter. Links are in the description down below. But like I said, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.